Hello, everybody. Welcome. This is Sheldon from Shell Rock Art. You can find me at Shell Rock Art 67 on Instagram. So, I'm going to be doing a pour tonight. Um, I'm a bit frustrated because, as you can see, this beautiful design here. I actually thought I was pressing the record button button on my um, video camera, but I actually was not. I was still recording from the first scrape, and then when I pressed record, I actually stopped the recording instead of starting. So this one beautiful piece never got recorded. So now that I can see that it's working and the numbers are going, I'm going to do this recording and try to recreate what I just created. It's not like a song, I know. But I'm gonna try to recreate that piece and hopefully um, on this smaller piece. This is actually a wood decor I got from uh, Roses and they were only 50 cents on clearance. So, I'm going to use it to pour over. I bought about seven of them. So, but it's wood, I can resin it. It already has a coating on it to protect it. So I don't really have to prime it. I can just pour right on top of it. It's a beautiful thing. And not to be insensitive, I know it's a breast cancer sign, but we all have um, our feelings when it comes to supporting those with breast cancer. And I very thoroughly support those with breast cancer and I hope they never ever have to suffer such horrible feelings again. So uh, sickness research is very important to me. So just cause I'm pouring on top of this, it's no amount of disrespect so I want to make sure that base is covered. Just in case anybody feels that I'm disrespecting, I'm not. I just found a piece of wood on sale and I wanted to be able to use it to make a beautiful pour. That's all. So, I'm gonna pre-spin this for a second to make sure I got enough color on there because it's got some deep sides, unlike a uh, normal canvas. So I want to make sure that it has enough to run down. I'll just pull some of this on the sides and the corners to make sure that when I spin it, it'll pull off to the sides. And I don't have to worry about it later on. I know I can, I know it'll run down once I have it. But I'm working with one of my favorite color combinations. I did this combination like back when I first got the hang of doing blooms and I fell in love with it. Now, I can't repeat it because I tried it twice to repeat the actual pattern, but the color combo was just amazing. So I'm gonna try to do it again. This time it's just gonna be on a smaller piece. So I have a little bit of like a blackish blue in the center, very dark followed by a nice light blue, which is um, cerulean. And that will be followed by interference gold for some shimmer. which will be followed by some green. I have some red on here, so what I'm gonna do is I'll we'll put the green first, put a little bit of yellow, this is lime green, put a little bit of bright yellow in the middle, and then in between the green and the red. So there's your yellow, and then there's your red going in the center. I have a black 
and a gold cell activator I'm gonna be using. I have my straw here just in case. I may not need it, but if I use the straw, it's gonna be for trying to make those uh, flower kind of peacock looking cells. And there's your gold cell activator right there. All right. My cell activator is just U.S. Floetrol and water. No extra Minwax wood conditioner or anything like that. Just the Amsterdam paint, U.S. Floetrol and water. But it makes a great, because it's thinner, it does make a great um, combination. And before I even started adding the Floetrol to it, I just added water to it. And it gave me some great cells, some great lacy. So keep that in mind if you're trying to save some money. So this is high fan, cool temperature on the blow dryer. that exact pattern. Let me kind of blow this out a little bit. Okay, that dark area. Use my straw in this little wide gold area for some flower cells. blow gently just until I start to see some of the paint, be, paint begin to make little holes and that's when I that's when I stop like there yeah and then those cells will come up so while that's settling all of the paint starting to collect back together like I did on the last one I'm going to you know what? I'm not even going to wreck it with the, tooth, with the toothpick. Not with this one. I think this one I'm going to leave alone. I like the way it look as it is. Most times I only wreck if uh, some of the places on it have some funky, ugly shapes that need to reshape or something like that. So uh, in some ways it's a form of cheating. If you want to look at it that way. But in other ways, a lot, of, a lot of folks like to have it because it does make a great design. So I sometimes I'll put it in there strictly for design purposes too because blooms are blooms. I mean, it's only but so many ways you're gonna make a whole got bunch of different blooms without trying to change things up a bit to keep from getting bored. Sometimes I'll do swipes when it gets tired of doing blooms. But I think this is actually gonna turn out pretty nicely. So I got some nice multicolor cells in here now. Now that everything is starting to collect. And so right before I spin it, oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, this is gonna be one of my favorites too. I thought that one was pretty. This one's gonna be good too. 
cells a little more tighter because I uh, spread it out already. So let me, I'll go ahead and give this a spin. Let those, let those colors spread out. I love this puppy pool, by the way, I got it from Amazon. It really helps keep things clean. When I, after this paint gets thick enough and it dries, I can just grab a whole thing and just peel this sheet right off and I'm back down to a uh, clean contractor bag that the paint does not stick to. I like to make sure I spun off enough paint. Let me get this away so you can see what's going on. I would have loved to save those ends for some skins, for jewelry, but I wanted to do this one for the video. And I'm actually very happy with the way this one turned out. So let me wipe my hands off and get you down for a closer look. Um, I hope you enjoyed this color combination. I do. So let me get you down for a closer look. I got some nice flower cells in the middle. Some people call them cell within cells which I can see. That was accomplished by the straw. But see how the green stayed green and the red stayed red? And nothing really got muddied up. But it's a nice bright contrast. That's what that cell activator helps do too. That's why it's different from a Dutch pour. You can have some nice bright colors when you're doing a bloom. So, Thank you for watching again. And this is Sheldon from Shell Rock Art 67 on Instagram.